Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about why Nikki Haley would have lost the 2024 presidential election based on my model before South Carolina's primary begins and so if you guys do enjoy the video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel follow all socials in the links in the description fill out the general election polling form and join our discord since it is now public and you know before we get into it i do want to say i'm not gonna be able to stream south carolina because i'm out of town currently i'm recording a video out of town but i'm not gonna be able to stream because i have a couple of things to do and as well i think honestly for my prediction i'm not gonna really do a whole video on a prediction because what it's gonna be what a four or three minute video i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna kind of combine them to be honest i think that nikki haley is gonna crash i think she'll probably lose the race anywhere from 20 to 30 points trump's gonna get like 60 to 65 percent of the vote nikki haley will get in the mid 30s and that's only because it's an open primary with more democrats that are gonna vote in this primary instead of the other one so that's really all it is and so if you look at my model basically what i did is i basically averaged out the latest popular vote polls from biden versus haley saw the swing of the popular vote his approval rating biden's approval rating and then I found all the polling averages for some of the states. Now, some of the states didn't have poll averages for, like, you know, Nikki Haley, for example, and the swingle meter thing and the polling miss is not included here, per se. Um, so it is slightly outdated accord, uh, compared to my latest 2024 model. But this will be a general estimate of probably what would have happened. And if we can see here, you know, the Rust Belt polling for Nikki Haley was really good. However, in some states like Texas, the polling was actually really bad for her. Like on average, three polls ended up being minus nine for Nikki Haley. Like it's like some of these blue states or some of these states that it should be red. Her poll numbers there are absolutely like horrendous. And so pretty much as of right now, we're going to go through each state and fill these out. So for the safe Democratic states, you're at least, you know, what we'll, we'll do safe Republican first. Idaho, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia would have probably been the safe states. Um, I actually don't even know if she would have won a lot of these by good margins. And even, yeah, look, see, Utah ends up being a likely margin. So does Montana. Montana falls to a nine-point loss. If you go to the state of Nebraska, even Nebraska at large is a likely margin. If we go to Nebraska second, you know, Biden wins it by 12 points. And what would have happened here, and it reflects in the polling data, is that Biden would have just done, you know, he would have turned out some voters, to be honest, some, you know, people who would have voted for Trump, but Nikki Haley's not appealing to them. Some people will just refuse to vote for Nikki Haley, even if it's Biden on the ticket. And not me personally, if Biden was going against Nikki Haley, I'd either vote RFK or vote for Biden. To be completely honest so voting for biden in that scenario wouldn't even be off the table really so a couple of trump voters would actually switch to biden some of those more reluctant trump voters and then the diehard supporters would basically just stay home and that would cause nikki haley to really collapse nationwide missouri look at that is likely even louisiana is considered likely in this scenario if we go to Indiana, it's likely. Tennessee actually is likely, including Mississippi. Tennessee, you know, these are all likely states on the map as of right now. Even Tennessee falls right under the 15-point gap category because Trump, Biden's actually winning the popular vote here by close to 10 percentage points, which is like an insane margin. And now we go to the safe Dem states. You know, Biden wins a lot of these Democratic states by pretty safe margins. I mean, the states would still trend to the right, but, you know, he's absolutely killing it in some of these. And even like Colorado would be almost a 20 point win and New Mexico would almost be a 15 point win at this point in time. Hawaii is basically completely safe at this point. If we go to some of these other, you know, Dem states, Maine at large is basically all good um, for Biden. The main second of the first district is safe. And if we go to all these Dem states, you know, she really doesn't have a problem. You know, Biden doesn't really have a problem winning those either. And if you go to like Virginia, Biden is up by 11 points and he's up by 10 in New Hampshire. And so Biden's already at 226 and Nikki's sitting at 113 electoral votes as of right now. 
And if you go to the more competitive states, you'll see, okay, Wisconsin, it's going to be a, you know, minus three point loss. If you go to Minnesota first, we'll actually see that Biden is winning it by 12. Michigan is a six point win. Pennsylvania is a seven point win as of right now, according to this. Arizona and Nevada are both four point losses for Nikki Haley. If we go to Texas, she's actually winning at close to five points or Biden is winning at close to five percentage points. It's more Democrat than Wisconsin is, which is crazy to even think about. Florida is a lean margin for Biden. Georgia is a likely margin for Biden in this scenario. If we go down to North Carolina, Biden wins North Carolina very easily as of right now. And if we go to states like Ohio and Iowa, Ohio is actually tilt Democrat in this scenario. And Iowa would be lean Democrat as well. South Carolina, I believe about down there, it said it was a four point win. And if you go to Alaska, Alaska is really competitive. It's only like a four point win for Nikki Haley. And the last state that I have to fill out here, the main second district is only like a three and a you know, in three and three fourths victory for Nikki Haley. And so if you look at the Electoral College map, she basically would have, you know, crumbled in the scenario. I mean, the only major state uh, that, you know, would have fulfilled this like fantasy dream that the Democrats had in 2020, where they would have gotten, you know, 300, 412. The only state they're missing is Iowa. And that's because the state is just way too Republican to even flip in this scenario. And I actually feel like Nikki Haley may revert like the trends by like a point just because she might appeal to some evangelical voters there for whatever reason. But according to the model, she would lose Ohio. She'd lose North Carolina, Florida, Texas, all of the swing states by really, really big margins. And Texas would shift to the left of Wisconsin, North Carolina, Florida, which is like insane to even think about. Even like it votes to the left of Nevada and Arizona, which is like crazy. So even if Nikki Haley would have gone Wisconsin, you know, here would have gotten Florida, would have gotten Arizona, would have gotten this, would have gotten this. She still would have been short by like 300 electoral, like 100 electoral votes. She still would have been short like 100 electoral votes because she would have lost Texas and lost a bunch of the Rust Belt. And that's pretty much what would have happened. And so this is what the model is showing right now. Joe Biden would have gotten 406 electoral college votes to Nikki Haley's 132. I'm going purely based on my model, guys. So if you guys have any criticism about it, please leave a comment in the, in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow all socials in the links in the description down below. Make sure to follow the Discord server or join it and as well fill out, fill out the general election polling. And so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.